our plight. And now our pastor king was saying, You know a prince this night, you know a prince this night, lad nor king shall ever be. If he was not your father, to turn his hands to thee. So I shall settle up the brown, and ye shall have the black. For we must ride to England, and dinner ye look back. Across the dark and land they rode for mile on hard pressed mile, and seven times seven doughty men were on their heels the while. Ever on the twain they rode and lacked an hour till dawn, when Donald cried, My bunny boy, I fear I cannot go on. He fell upon the rocky ground, the blood ran from his side. Oh, I will hold them here a while, but onward ye must ride. <laughs> and dinner let yourself be tain, though ye be weary sore, for that's the men of the man who washed his hands in your father's gore. Ride on, ride on to England, and when ye are full grown, hurry turn again to Scotland, claim what is your own. The boy rode till the black horse fell, all lamed upon a stone. Unbridled him and left him there, and then ran on alone. He ran till he came to a crofter's gate, when he could run no more. Awake, arise, so let me in, oh, do not bar your door. Awake, arise, so let me in, I beg your courtesy. I'm hunted by a band of men who seek to murder me. The good man rose and took the boy and hid him in the loft and covered him all up with straw. And men came to the croft. <laughs> oh, have you seen an outlaw lad that through these hills doth ride? Oh, ye shall have a fine reward if you will give him up to me. Well, how old is this outlaw lad and wherefore does he run? Oh, he is full nine years of age and treason has he done. Treason is a wicked deed, I'm sure there is no thing that I would do to aid a man who would betray his king. But I have here no traitor lad, as ye may plainly see, should such a one come to my crop, I'll gladly give him to thee. But there are caves in the western hills where a hunted man may hide, if ye would seek your traitor lad, it's west for ye must ride. The sound of the horse's hoofs had died where the honest crofter stood and cried, Come down, my little outlaw, they are not gone for good. I do not know your name or style, but noble ye must be, so swear to follow Scotland's king, and I will succor thee. The boy slid from beneath the straw and blinking in the sun, young Malcolm, son of Duncan, gazed at Malcolm Friskin's son. You little know what deed you did when ye protected me. Then when I come into my crown, I will remember thee. For I am Malcolm Duncan's son, and Malcolm King shall be. Though Macbeth hath my father slain, and now seeks after me. And ye <coughs> shall be the cunning aim with title, lands, and all. And ye shall have the fork for arms that covered me with straw. Twice ten years did pass before young Malcolm King became, but he remembered his true oath and knighted cunning.